Men, I'm Damon Eddy, and it's my wish to have a hundred or more men come through these sanctuary doors and join us September 11th as we go through the new study from the creator of Men's Fraternity called 33 The Series. Look, our life is shaped by the choices that we make, and I want to encourage you to make the choice to come. Look, there's no cost. There's no obligation. You don't have to come to this church to be a part. You know, we're looking for all men in the community to join us here as we go through this seven-week study. Look, if you want to strengthen your marriage, if you want to become a better father, if you want to have more success and balance in your career and your life, live a life of health and vitality, live a life of passion and purpose, then this study will help you. We want to see you September 11th here at Harvest Fellowship in Brighton, Colorado. Look, there's no obligation. There's no cost. All we're asking is that you join us. You come through these doors and be a part of something that's going to be special. I want to encourage you now to watch this short two-minute video from the Creators and Men's Fraternity. And I hope to see you September 11th. Imagine with me for a moment what could be. Imagine a world where men lead in their marriages, where men lead in raising their children, where men lead in protecting those who are weak and oppressed. It is the most important journey you could possibly be on. Is there anything this world needs more than a bold movement of men to step up and be men. When you look across our own lives, we can see that there's a deficit there and there's a great need for men to rise up and be the men they've been called to be. We're just not going to pull that out of the air. We're going to look at our model and the, and the 33 years that Jesus lived on this earth. Men who don't transition well into middle adulthood, they usually fall to the major danger. You find yourself in between a rock and a hard place. If you let this happen, you'll find yourself in manhood hell. There's a lot that you can give a son, but the greatest gift you can give him is the example of integrity and a great name. That's a legacy. Our eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. So you're not talking complex ethics here, right? Don't touch that tree. That, that's not hard. You see, manhood is imprinted. If you get the young men, you win the war. You get the families, the women, the children, the money, the business, you get everything. Imagine a world where men dominate areas of eternal significance.